Hi guys, welcome back to our Gregory home. I am still a little bit sick, so please ignore my raspy voice, but I wanted to get some videos up for you guys. So today we're gonna to be doing this super cute farmhouse honeybee DIY. We are going to go ahead and start with this sign. And we are going to be taking this checkerboard from the Dollar Tree and we're going to be unwrapping that and we're going to take the pieces and set those aside. Now we're going to be using the checkerboard side because that's the flat side. And what we're going to be doing is just adding um, three coats of Waverly white chalk paint. If you have a different type of paint, you might be able to cover it more. Um, I had to do three coats. So once the white is just a little bit damp, almost completely dry, but not quite, I'm gonna be dry brushing a little bit with this gray chalk paint in the color Elephant. And I'm gonna be taking my brush and just kind of brushing over that white, giving it that aged look. Now once that's all dry, I picked up these letters from Dollar Tree in their little sticker section. And what I'm going to be doing, I wanted to show you guys that you can still make a sign without having to print anything or with, without having to use the wax paper like I've done in my previous videos. So I am just using the R-A-W to spell raw and putting that on the sign. And then I am actually just tracing out the word honey. Now I am looking at a word on my phone. Um, that says honey just to kind of eyeball it I am not a perfectionist when it comes to this um, I am super new to hand lettering so if I can do it you can do it too <laughs> I'm just using a little painters pen from Walmart but you can use a sharpie too if you have a sharpie so now that I have the word honey on there I noticed that the word raw was a little bit crooked so I'm just kind of going in and moving around those letters making sure that they all line up. Now once I get it how I like it, I'm just adding some little dots in the middle. And now I'm going to be drawing a bumblebee. Now don't make fun of my drawing skills. It is not the best. I kind of wanted it to look like um, a sketch almost. So I am doing several lines. This is my first time ever drawing a honeybee. And I don't know. I don't think I did that bad of a job. <laughs> I'm going in and just adding some thicker lines. Trying to get it to match the thicker lines of the raw and the honey. Now just to kind of finish the sign off, I'm adding some of these L's to each corner. Now I'm taking some of that Waverly chalk paint and I'm just dry brushing a little bit on the sign to give it that aged look. Once that's all dry, I am taking some of this twine that is from the Dollar Tree and I am just gluing a little hook so you are able to hang it. And then I am taking some of these, I think they're honeysuckles. I'm not sure what, what type of flower they are, but I thought that they looked really cute with the little honeybee. So I'm just adding a couple of those to the top, and then I'm adding just a little bit of a green leaf to the middle. And here's what it looks like finished. Now moving on to the next project, I found this little jar from the Dollar Tree and I thought that it looked so much like a little honeycomb. I thought it was so cute. I'm just taking that little wire off that came on it. Um, I didn't think it quite matched, so I took that off and now I'm just adding a little bit of chalk paint to the outside just so it kind of accentuates those lines of the honeycomb shape. Once that's dry, I am taking a little bit of jute twine from the Dollar Tree and I am wrapping that around the top and cutting that and then I'm going to be making a little jute bow to glue on the front. Once 
since the bow has been tied, I am just adding a little bit of hot glue and sticking that directly on the front. Now I am just taking those honeysuckles and just adding them in the jar. And that was just a cute, simple little project, but it really ties everything together. Now we're going to be moving on to these little honeycombs that are made out of the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. So here I am just taking a vase and what I'm doing is just tracing that on a foam core board and this is going to be the base of our honeycomb. So now I'm just taking my knife and I am just cutting out that circle. Now I'm going to be taking this nautical rope and I am going to be gluing that all around the edge of the foam core board. Now, once this is all glued around, you are welcome to grab a bowl and put a bowl on the inside so when you start to glue the rope around the bowl, it stays, it keeps its shape, if that makes sense. So what you're gonna do once you have that first row is you're just gonna completely cover the edges in hot glue and just keep going around and around. Now once you decide how high you want it to be, um, you're going to make an opening for the honeycomb for the bees to go in I guess. So you can see here this is where the rope ended and now I'm taking a new strand and I am just going to be leaving a little gap so that way when I continue on with the rope, I just cut the rope to make an opening. So you can see there that I cut the rope and now I'm just continuing on. So now at the very top here you can see that I decided to make a little archway. So what I did was I just took the rope and bent it up a tiny bit and glued that down to start an arch. And now I'm just continuing on and making that arch bigger and bigger. Now I decided kind of last minute that I needed to paint the inside black so that way when you're looking through the little hole you won't see just the white foam core board on the bottom. So now I'm just finishing up the top of that honeycomb. And once I have the top finished I am just going to be cutting a little loop and gluing that in so you can hang it. Now I decided that the hole in the, in the front was a little bit too big, so what I'm doing is just taking some rope and adding it, making it a little bit smaller. And here's what it looks like finished. I think this turned out super cute. I would suggest getting a bowl and using the bowl to make the honeycomb shape. Um, it, it, after a while it started to get a little bit lopsided, so I think the bowl would definitely really help with that. All right, you guys, that does it for this DIY. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for bearing with my sick voice. Hopefully, I will be better in a few days. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to always be creative, be unique, and most importantly, be yourself, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye!